الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا كريم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد having taqwa Allah azza wa jal fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the salaf of this ummah said it is comprised of being obedient to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions this is one definition of taqwa in, from the salaf of this ummah and part of that taqwa and part of our iman is returning our affairs back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we return our affairs back to the Book of Allah and back to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu atiyu Allah wa atiyu Rasul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O oh, you who believe, addressing the believers Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. So, since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with this, that shows that that act of obedience to Allah and following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is from taqwa. It's from taqwa Allah azza wa jal. Because taqwa, as we said, ayuwa habba, is following the commands of Allah and avoiding his prohibitions. And may Allah bless us with tawfiq in that. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with is an act of worship and it's something we must do. And everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibits us from is muharram. It's, and, and it is those things which weaken our faith. So, since those commands are from taqwa, they show us that they also are from iman. They are from our faith. And they fall under the hadith of Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wasalam, was asked about iman. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al-iman in tu'mina billahi wa malaykati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyawm al-akhir wa tu'mina bi qadri khayri wa shar. That iman or faith is believing in Allah and believing in His angels and believing in His books, the Kalam of Allah, the speech of Allah, the Quran, the, the, the Torah, uh, the Injil or the Bible, all those books which were revealed, divinely revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which were His speech. And to min abillahi wa malaykati wa kutubihi wa rasuli and His messengers. And the day of judgment, and the divine destiny, the qadr, the good of it and the evil of it. All of that is from Iman. And all of that makes up taqwa Azza wa Jal. That you are believing in that, and you are practicing that. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to practice and be of the people of Iman wa Sunnah. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم